morning biologists today we are going to go on a short trip to go and have a look at how conservation can be carried out so as you can see from these empty cages things are done differently now and animals aren't generally kept in large cages anymore So, let's look at how wildlife reserves actually work. The first thing that we can think about is controlled grazing, right? So controlled grazing is when a species only grazes on an area for a specific amount of time, so that helps maintain the habitat and allows it time to recover. In wildlife reserves, you need to restrict human access to decrease human interaction with the species. In wildlife reserves, poaching is controlled using fences, fines, and by doing things like removing rhino horns. So, one way that we can go and help protect endangered species, especially when their parents can't feed them, is to go and feed them by bottle using humans. A species can be reintroduced into a habitat where its numbers have decreased. And invasive species can also be called or removed from that specific habitat. Marine conservation zones are areas that protect a range of nationally important rare or threatened habitats and species. The protected habitats range from things like coral reefs, coastal lagoons, mudflats and various other waterways which need to be protected to help maintain the organisms that live there. So, hopefully that goes and outlines some methods of conservation. Now go and maybe investigate some of your own. 